Rachel's here. Long time no see. I know. I'm so sorry. Um, if you guys saw some of the last few videos I put up, um, my camera, uh, the battery was dead and I lost my charger and I couldn't for the life of me figure out where I put it. Um, so, and I didn't want to buy a new one, uh, cause the charger's like 40 bucks or something like that. Something outrageous for a battery charger. Um, so, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, I want to make videos and I prefer to use a better camera, but I don't want to pay for the charger. So finally we got on eBay, found one for $8 and now I have two cause I, I actually found my <laughs> original one at this pretty much within 24 hours of purchasing the one off eBay. I found my other one. So now I got a backup. So if one goes missing again, I hopefully won't be without a charger. But anyway, so, but I thought I would, uh, my first foray back into doing videos, um, I thought I would do a haul for you guys. Um, this is a collective haul. Um, if you guys don't know the difference between a haul and a collective haul, usually a straight up haul is somebody went shopping, came home, showed it, filmed it, show it. A collective haul is more a, a summary of stuff that's been purchased during a certain time frame um, as opposed to hey I went to the mall today this is what I got this is more hey I've been shopping the last like two or three months and this is some of the stuff I've accumulated and I want to show it to you um, everything I'm going to show you guys today is from Goodwill um, I did a, a video several months ago about Goodwill and my love of Goodwill and all the great stuff that you can find at Goodwill. So if you guys want to see that, I will post a link to it um, either in here or in the description box, one of the two. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have seen my other Goodwill video, you know I love Goodwill. Um, being a college student on a budget, um, you can find some really great stuff there. A lot of it's... if you know, if it's used, it's gently used. If not brand new, I've got some things that were brand new, still had the tags on them. Um, you know, great pieces. So, um, I'm not going to show you everything I've got, because uh, some of it's just plain boring. Like, here's a t-shirt. But, uh, I'm just going to show you some, some of the more interesting and exciting pieces that I got. Um, so let's dig right in. All right. Uh, first up, I got this uh, pencil skirt, which it's wool, which is really great. Um, it's 100% wool and it's got a uh, polyester lining and the brand is a brand I don't recognize. Um, but this is a staple that every woman should have. A, you know, I've mentioned I have you know, other black skirts in my wardrobe. Um, I have that one I bought from Forever 21 um, that I showed you guys. Um, but it's more of a cotton material. This wool is uh, a great fabric because it holds its shape. Um, you don't have to worry about it wrinkling or anything like uh, polyester or something. Um, it's classic. Um, it goes with so many things and since I'm getting ready to graduate college and find a real job, um, this is going to be a great uh, wardrobe staple. Um, you will see a lot of the things I bought um, are um, office appropriate. Um, there are some casual things, but I, I have been looking for things that are office wear appropriate for when I do find uh, my first postgraduate job where, you know, I'm not going to be wearing jeans and tennis shoes like I do at my current job. So, black wool, pencil skirt, great thing to have in your wardrobe. And I did pick up a couple pairs of jeans, unfortunately. Um, going through my closet recently trying to um, uh, purge some of the stuff that I just don't wear anymore. Uh, I've discovered that several pairs of jeans just don't fit. <laughs> um, that's just the nature of getting older. I've put on some weight, unfortunately. I'm, you know, I'm getting in the process of trying to exercise more and eat more healthy. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things that happens, especially when you barely have time to get sleep because you're too busy writing a thesis paper. But anyway, 
So I had to get I had to get some new jeans to replace the ones that don't fit anymore. Um, but uh, so I picked up these, and these were really great finds. This first pair is a pair of Calvin Klein jeans, and I swear these were these are brand new. They didn't have the tags on them. Um, occasionally I do find things at Goodwill that still have the the tags on them from the, the store that they came from originally. Um, these didn't, but just by the looks of them, you know if somebody owned these they probably wore them like once maybe twice because these are just in impeccable shape they're a great great uh fit on me um fits real well and the hips and the thighs and all that good dark wash a bit of a boot cut um which i don't mind um but they're just a really really nice pair of jeans i, I got really lucky finding those and this other pair I got, um, these are Jones New York. And these are actually, they are denim, but they're, they're cut more like a trouser. Um, almost a trouser jean, um, where it's got the, uh, the flat, um, pockets like that. And then it's got the, the tab on it. So these look more like a pair of trousers, but they are, um, jeans. They are denim. And they're almost a straight a straight cut. They're not skinny, but they're a straight cut on me. And I really like trouser style jeans. I don't know why, but they're just they look they look nicer than just, you know, your your run of the mill uh denim, yet that you get all the comfort of wearing a pair of jeans. So that's just me. Next are some dresses. Um this dress, I love this dress. This is actually uh, Massimo, um, which, you know, you can buy at a Target, so, um, so it's a Target brand. Um, this had the tags on it too. Um, I don't think somebody, this was actually, I think, a factory second. Um, a lot of times places, um, where, you know, they have a shipment of clothing that's not quite up to, um, snuff as far as how it, how it came out of the factory. Um, but it's still wearable instead of sending it to the place where it's supposed to go, like Target. You know, you'll find factory seconds at places like the Outlet Mall, Goodwill, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those kind of places. So those are always things to, want to, to look out for, especially if you have a Goodwill that's near a Target. Um, I have three Goodwills within like 15 miles of me, and one is literally right around the corner from a Target, and they get a lot of Target brands brand new so that's a good hint um, if you have a Goodwill that's near Target and you like Target brand stuff but it's still a bit too expensive for you try your Goodwill that's closest to your local Target but anyway this dress um, is it's really I don't know what color you want to call it it's almost like a like a deep like berry red um, but it's, it's a great cut. I mean, it's got the, uh, the, uh, the darting, um, along the front here with the, uh, the faux weight, you know, the waistband cut here too. It's knee length. This is very office appropriate. Um, obviously the color, you know, depending on how conservative the office may be, the color, you know, uh, something in the red family may still be a bit too bright, but and for the most part, since this is a deeper red, I think with maybe like a dark blazer, like a black blazer or something, and, uh, you know, a pair of black pumps, you could easily wear this to the office and then, you know, take the blazer off. You could go out to dinner with friends, you know, after work. So I think this will be a really good uh, addition to my office attire wardrobe. This next dress um, is just a fun spring-summer dress. Um this floral, well I guess it's not floral, I guess it's more just an earth pattern to it, earthy, leafy pattern to it. Um, I love the brown um, with like this peach color and then this darker rose and then this almost lime green color to it. Um, again this fits me really well, the scoop neck is very flattering. The straps are wide enough I can still wear a bra underneath for support and it's got this banding here that would go right below my my uh, chest so it really uh, emphasizes the smallest part of my body which would be uh, right underneath the uh, 
the girls there, as Stacey Lydon likes to say. Um, and then it's got this A-line flow away bottom to it, which again is very flattering. Um, I've got uh, a wedding attend to, uh, to attend this summer. I may end up wearing this to the wedding, so we shall see. This next dress is another fun dress. Um, it's almost the same color as that dress, the Massimo. Um, uh, but this is like a jersey, almost a jersey material, but I just love this pattern. It's very um, mod, um, retro print with all these circles on it. Um, and they're kind of an ivory color and then kind of a dark taupe and then the gold darted circles. Next, I pick up this uh, uh, flyaway, I guess it's not flyaway because it does have buttons, but the sleeveless, the sleeveless cardigan uh, vest type thing. And this is actually from H&M, but I got it at a Goodwill. Um, and it's, uh, it's pretty basic, but I like it. Um, I love the gray color. Gray is one of my, my favorite, favorite neutral colors. Um, and that's got, you know, pockets on it. I actually wore this yesterday. Yeah, I wore this yesterday. Um, and it's just, it's very cozy. Next is the sweater. And this is actually from the Loft, Ann Taylor Loft. Um, and this just, um, on me, it's mm, kind of just past half sleeve on me. Um, I love this color green. I don't know why, but like my favorite color is blue. I mean, that's my favorite color in the entire world, yet I've really been drawn to green stuff recently. I have no idea why. But, uh... I just love this. I love this color and this, this scoop neck. Um, again, it's very flattering. Um, you know, I could easily pair this with the pencil skirt, pair of pumps. I'm good to go. Next is this uh, sweater that is from Banana Republic, and this is one of the things I got that still had the tags on it. Um, but it's just this gorgeous, like deep teal color. Um, that, you know, I love blue, so I saw this color, I'm like, oh, I love it. And the sweater itself is just really, really, really soft. It's, uh, and it's just this deep V, which again is very flattering, and then it's got this knot uh, detail, which I think is just, um, really adds something to it, and this color I think is just absolutely gorgeous. And next is this jacket, and this is also from Ann Taylor Loft. Um, this doesn't have the tags on it though, but that's okay. Um, but again, green. I don't know why I'm being gravitated towards green stuff, but I just, I was, I'm loving green right now. I don't know, maybe it's because, well, winter and it's just blah and gray and like green just means spring and life and all that. I don't know. But, uh, it's just this, uh, cropped, um, I guess you'd call, I guess it'd be a swing jacket, if that's a proper term or, or not. But it's almost a box, a boxy cut. Um, it's definitely not something that would, you know, cinch at the waist or anything and give you a real hourglass figure. This would be something like you'd throw over something more fitted, um, like a dress or something, and you would just throw this on top, just, you know, as an accent or whatever with this color. But I love, like, the, the military detail to it with the, the tabs on the sleeve. It's got a little button there on the back. Um, but it's just a really cute coat, so I'll find some way to wear it. Next is the shirt and vest, and I found these at Goodwill hanging together on a hanger like this, even though I guess technically they were two pieces because they're two different sizes. Um, but I just like them together so much, I was like, and they both fit, so I'm like, I'm going to take them both. And I've been hanging them together ever since just because I like the combination. Um, but these are both uh, New York and Company, um, which the good ones around me have a lot of New York and Company stuff in them too. Um, I'm not quite sure why, because that's a mall store, but, you know, I like their stuff. I like New York and Company. Um, I think they've got some great uh, classic pieces um, that are good for, like, office wear and stuff. Um, so if you're a fan of New York and Company, because I know the stores themselves, they can be expensive. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for their kind of stuff. You know, if you're at Goodwill's and you may be near a mall, um, you may find, uh, and your mall has a New York and Company, you may find some of their stuff in your local Goodwill. 
who knows? But uh, this shirt, blue, of course, I love it, blue. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, typical uh, button-up shirt. Um, it's got a bit of a, a roll at the cuff and a bit of uh, bunching there, so it gives it a, a bit of a poof in the in the shoulders there, which I think is a nice feminine detail. Um, and then it just buttons up in the front, obviously. And then this vest um, is just a, a black uh, wool. No, polyester, of course. Um, it's just polyester. Um, but it's just kind of a matte fabric, so it's not real shiny. It says, hey, look at me. But, you know, throw this on, on top, either this shirt or another button-up shirt, um, and belt it, or button it in the front, and that's got a little thing to cinch it in the back. Really cinches you in. and um, gives you uh, a nice uh, hourglass look to you. Um, so I love you know, button-up shirts with uh, vests. I think that's a really good way to um, kind of do the, the menswear type look, but if it fits right, it's still feminine. So. Last piece of clothing is this shirt, um, which the brand is Worthington, which the brand's familiar, but I don't know from where. I think maybe Kohl's? I don't know, if somebody knows, let me know in the comments. But anyway, it's just this leopard print, which, you know, animal prints are always in style. I know they can be somewhat scary um, to think of wearing because they are a bold pattern. Um, but I just, anyway, I love this shirt. Um, obviously, it's sheer. You'd need to wear something underneath. And I've got, um, you know, camis and stuff that I can wear underneath. So I'm not showing you know, everything through the shirt. Um, but it's just a, a, this a very feminine looking shirt despite the pattern. You know, it's a button-up shirt. It's got these ruffles all, you know, around the collar and then all the way, you know, almost all the way down the front. Um, it's got that same sort of, you know, ruching at the shoulders. And then it's got this, this button detail on the sleeves. And uh, I just really like this shirt, you know. This could, you know, potentially be, you know, a good way for somebody to uh, get more comfortable with the idea of wearing an, an animal print is doing something like that, where it's just one piece, you know, throw that on with a pair of jeans and, you know, some black boots and, you know, that's your, that's your statement piece right there is that shirt and keep everything else neutral. Last few things I'm going to show you are some shoes. Uh, First pair of shoes are, these are Anne Klein, this is a pair of brown pumps, um, and these have, let me say the Anne Klein I-Flex, which I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be more comfortable, which these are, these are very comfortable. It's a, it's a low heel, very, very low heel, you know, that's like an inch, maybe inch and a half, um, heel to them. Um, they're nice neutral brown, and then they just have this this accent, you know, detail on the front here where it kind of wraps over and then has that button. Um, obviously pointy toe, but, you know, the way these fit is, you know, my toes are like right here, so my toes aren't getting squished or anything, and these are very comfortable. So these will be um, very uh, work-appropriate shoes. Next are these that I got, and these are Naturalizer. Um, which means these are very comfortable too, which they are. Um, these are uh, almost a, not quite navy blue, but they're blue. They're on a deeper shade of blue. Um, and these look more like loafers. Um, they have a somewhat taller, taller heel. Um, it's a thicker heel too, which is going to make it more comfortable. And these are, um, these are very comfortable too. And then, you know, this blue color is very neutral, so that color will go with a lot of things. And then last pair are just these flats. Um, just a pair of simple flats, but they just have this cool, uh, fun plaid pattern to them. And then these are Exhilaration, which I believe this is a Target brand as well. Um, so, but these are, they're obviously they're flats, so they're nice and comfortable. They're padded and, you know, pointy toe. Again, you know, your toes don't go 
all the way down to the end with the pointy shoes so you don't have to worry about your toes getting squished. Um, that's just purely for looks. Um, but I just think the plaid pattern is fun. I'll, you know, I, these probably wouldn't be worn to the office, but these could easily be worn on the weekend or something. Um, you know, just to run around them because they're flat. So, that's it. Um, that's all i got to show you guys. Um, again, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Technical difficulties, that's all I'm going to chalk it up to is technical difficulties. Um, but like I said, school's almost done. I've got a battery charger again, so hopefully, you know, I'll get to uh, make some more videos for you guys. Um, as always, you know, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow my blog. Links for everything is in the description box below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I greatly appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And, you know, as a subscriber, when I do get around to putting videos up, they'll be right there on your on your homepage when you get onto YouTube so you won't miss any videos. So I hope you guys have a great weekend because it's Friday. And I will talk to you guys next time. All right. Bye.